All right, so today, Nikki is doing his CBT. Say hello, Nikki. <laughs> So we're on our way because Nikki wants to get his CBT done. Oh, it's going to be so much fun, no? You're going to you're gonna really enjoy it, I think. And you kind of like been interested in getting the CBT because of cycling. All right, guys, so we're going to go back to basics here and you guys are going to have a little bit more information on how to get your full license done or anyway, to do your CBT and also give you some tips on how to ride safely. All right, have you ridden a bike before, Nick? So Nicky's never ridden any bike before, so he is literally going with no experience whatsoever. So for those of you that are thinking about doing it with no experience, you'll, you'll actually hear from Nicky himself. <laughs> the weather here is pretty crap today. We've booked this quite far in advance, like two weeks in advance, having 30 degrees of sunshine, and today it's potentially gonna rain later. Let's just hope it doesn't in North London. I wrapped it. Oh yeah, I haven't actually told anyone that. I decided to wrap the helmet, by the way. <laughs> it's now a little bit orange with a little bit of accents of the red still. Huh? Yeah. I've got both the phaser and the KTM on this helmet. All right, guys, we'll see you at the CBT center. Wait, 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 wait. Let's break this down. Yes, you mug. You have to do it. Well, you won't learn how to get your knee down. That's for sure. Well, believe it or not, there's no test. Good luck. I'm sure you'll be fine. You won't have a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about me. I'll follow. All right, so the instructor's actually now finished all of the lessons in the classroom and in this car park, which gives you quite a lot of basics, really. Um, now it is for the instructor to take out two students on the road for a minimum of two hours so they can sort of get a feel of being on the road, being out there, how to deal with real life scenarios and, um, and for the instructor to see if they're able to control the bike carefully. So we're gonna be following, but they're communicating so we can't hear anything. I didn't bother connecting to Nikki, although I have his Bluetooth, but I didn't want to make it too difficult for him. For you that really are thinking about this, this is quite a big eye-opener, I think, for you guys to see what it's like if you do want to get your CBT and you know potentially work your way up to a big bike like this. But the CBT does allow you to drive bikes up to 125cc, um, gives you basic knowledge on how to ride on the road. If you have been driving a car, it is quite good because then you'll understand the highway code and how things actually work on the road. If you haven't actually got a driving license, then it is quite scary. Then it is quite scary because 
you don't actually know what you're doing. You kind of, yeah, I mean, we've spent all day with the instructor um, and he's been absolutely fantastic. I mean, he's, he's, he's kept them going, kept them entertained throughout the process. I say entertained, but it's, um, I think they were meant to go left, but didn't. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's kept them glued in the sense to listening in and everything in the classroom. I of course, I didn't want to record the instructor and what he's talking about because that would be very unfair. Something I would recommend is um, to read the highway code, to understand the signs, to understand the rules and regulations of a road, to understand the signs is very important. But just to give you a really good idea of how things actually work, because if you don't have a driving license, it's going to be tough. I mean, I had my driving license before I got a motorcycle, so it made everything so much easier for me. When you do a CBT, you learn about the basics, you know, balance, control of a bike, what to do to be out on the open road. It's scary. It's, it's, it is tricky. Nicky over there has actually got a very nice new Mercedes C-Class. So he drives a, a very nice car with a lot of power, but it is a completely different ball game when you're on the road in two wheels on a 125. In fact, these are Honda Vision's 110cc. Questions you might have is, you know, uh, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about doing the CBT. Is it going to be worth it? What if I crash? What are the, you know, the implications there? Now, the good thing is with these Honda Visions, they've got crash bars all over them. They're designed to protect the bike should you break it. Um, however, they are only covered by third party fire and theft or third party insurance. I mean, you can see here we're doing 16 miles an hour. We haven't been going very fast at all. The instructor's taking us down quiet roads to get used to it. So they don't, they don't take you on a main road straight away, obviously. They, they understand that you are not going to have much experience. And it is about getting a bit of mileage under your belt. Quite interesting because some of the lessons that he taught, you know, the guys are already picking up on. He obviously knows the roads that we're taking. So he's, he's actually prepared them well in advance. And, and it is tricky to try and teach someone in one day how to make sure they don't make a mistake on the road. And especially in London where it is busy, it is tough. You know, you've you got people that are beeping at you left, right and centre if you haven't gone, you know, within a, a millisecond. So there's, there's not much room for you to, to make mistakes out on the road. And it is quite nerve wracking. I mean, what I was thinking about it. Could I actually teach? I, I don't think I'd have the patience to do it. And I have so much respect for this instructor because it's, it's not easy. It's really not. But the problem that we've got is that a lot of car drivers don't understand this what this is all about and they don't understand how scary it is to get on two wheels you know i mean bearing in mind that they've got to worry about all of the other cars they've got to worry about signs they've got to worry about fines and cameras and all this kind of stuff on top of the fact they've never actually been on a bike except of today and they're getting used to being on a bike with two wheels and that's quite daunting i think but i shouldn't be putting you off here there is a lot of you know upsides to it it is exciting it's thrilling it's interesting i mean nikki couldn't wait to get back on the bike and and nikki nikki's doing really well and it's just not easy and massive props you know nikki's never done anything like this before he's um been cycling recently but this is very different to the norm oh very kind of the car driver to pull out or move out of the way should i say you know a big part about biking and being on two wheels is safety and a motorcycle um, check life check is a check over the shoulders and it's basically checking your blind spots and this is something you do regularly i do it very regularly and i'm sure if you guys pay attention to how i ride you'll notice that i actually do life saving checks quite often but it's just to make sure that no one is there so what's new guys, let's quickly talk about my channel. Well, thank you to Hand Muff Warrior for actually sharing my video. I mean, my last video, which you haven't, if you haven't seen, I don't know why you haven't seen it, but go and check it out on the link above. Um, it's all about the motorcycle community and I think a lot of people enjoyed it. And uh, that spiked up my analytics report quite drastically on YouTube. And, and I'm doing this just for a bit of fun, but it is really nice to see that you guys are watching and entertained so much that you are subscribing and I'm, I'm nearly at 600 subscribers. I'm nearly there. I mean, come on guys, G give me a little bit more subscriber count here. So if you are watching this video and found it interesting, then please hit me up with a subscription 
all you need to do is is I don't know if you've seen that little button just below just just push it it says subscribe in red letters it's very easy you just push it and you make my day you actually make my day so yeah and then on top of it if you you know watching this far as well you should definitely be giving me a thumbs up just just hit that that like button it, again it's just like a, a little thumbs up button uh, kind of like Facebook but yeah push that and if you guys are enjoying my footage and what I'm doing and and how I'm progressing listen I haven't got what's he doing oh shit uh, my indicators if I um, if I don't have um, Oh, I lost my train of thought there. I was stupidly not concentrating. This is the problem with motor vlogging. Yeah, I was saying that I don't have much experience with motor vlogging. So whatever you do, just uh, just understand that. You know, I'm, I'm learning in this whole YouTube process and it's just for fun, really. It's all for the cinematics. It's all enjoyable for me. Um, so if you guys are enjoying it that much as well and you want to follow me a little bit more and a little bit more closely because I only put out my content on YouTube when I've actually edited out the movie or the film or the video whatever you want to call it and I, I do like to get it as perfect as I can and I'm getting to that point where I'm making the footage better and more interesting and adding b-roll so much to the point I need to buy more camera equipment because I'm not happy with the camera equipment I got at the moment not this, this is the GoPro I'm getting there slowly slowly so if you do want to follow a little bit more then check me out on Instagram all you need to do is put don.part1 in Instagram and you'll find me there if you don't then there's a link in the dis well I'll put a link in the description for you but I've also got a link on my actual YouTube channel page and just so you guys know I will actually be going to the Black Forest and to Switzerland in a couple of weeks time so there's gonna be an awesome footage coming out very soon and if you are wondering what I'm doing this one well I mean yes I'm supporting my very good friend Nicky in the fact that he's doing his CBT um, but also at the same time, I've had a lot of people asking and interested in knowing a little bit more about, you know, what the process is and getting your license. Oh, that is a lovely Range Rover. That's the old school classic Range Rover. Wouldn't mind getting one of those as a project. No, I've got enough projects. Still got to fix the phaser. I need to buy a new engine for that one. So yeah, anyway, I'm not going to bore you too much. I'm going to put a little bit of B-roll in this footage. Um, but yeah, if you've got any questions about this, then put in the comments down below. Well, peace out. What's going on? Okay, listen, I've been editing my video yeah. and I realize we haven't asked you how you felt. Yeah. All right, so Nikki, tell us uh, how you feel after doing the CBT. That was a struggle. But I'm so relieved. Even pulling you off the bike, you just got to get back on. I didn't actually yeah. get that on video when you yeah. fell over. So, are you feeling, are you, after all of that, are you feeling like getting a bike? Oh yeah, definitely. Made me, the adrenaline just like, kicked in, you know. Get a full license and get back on it. Alright Nick, I'll catch you later on, yeah? Oh, cool. See ya. Bye bye.